Hi everybody, hope you're well. This is the Gaming Diplomat with a new video. I bought an upgrade recently. It's the Logitech G915 Lightspeed Keyboard. Uh, here's a look at my old one. It's the Black Widow from Razer. That spacebar has caused my wife some misery over the years. This is what it sounds like. Ah, or more really like this. This is the unboxing of the keyboard. The packaging was actually quite heavy. The keyboard itself is too. There's the receiver for the connection. You can use the keyboard in a cabled way too. But I think in my setup I'll be trying to do a wireless one. Of course it comes with all the bells and whistles, including a sticker, which I'll never use. One thing that immediately stands out here is the lack of the base part of the keyboard. I've heard some people say it should probably come with a wrist pad, uh, but I was never one to use one before, you know. Magic third hand taking that packaging away. <laughs> it's a beautiful keyboard. All right, here we have the difference between the two keyboards. Um, you can see the height uh, of the old Razer keyboard uh, is this tall. You can see that the Logitech, of course, lies flat um, on the lies flat on the desktop. So when you look at the height of the first keys, you can see that the the gap uh, doesn't exist here, which means that uh, your hands can can lay uh, much more easily instead of uh, being raised the whole time with this keyboard. Of course, the Logitech is adjustable too. I'll show you the keyboard at its medium setting here. You can see it's still pretty flat. And this is at its highest setting. The important thing to note, of course, is that your hands really do lay more flat. You can see where those keys are. Ah, yeah, you can tell I'm pretty excited about this keyboard. Here it is from the left to the right. It really is nice, and honestly, I'm not one for flashy lights and RGB, but it is built well. Here's me turning it on. The keyboard is adjustable to, I mean, you can see the, the different like macro keys, um, the kind of connection sync, Bluetooth light. You can see me dimming the lights here. So it is customizable that way. And you've also got the G uh, keys at the side too. And here we've got a volume control uh, like this, which puts the volume up and the volume down. It only controls the general volume, uh, not specific volume modes, which, is, which isn't great, but, uh, but it's all right. We've got the uh, music play buttons and so on too. And I did go with the full uh, number pad version because I do end up using it for different things and I'm just used to doing number pad calculations instead of uh, typing the numbers like this as well. I mean, it is very comfortable to type on this keyboard. Listen. And you can honestly see how uh, linear my wrist area is and how I don't have to tilt my hand up. Yeah, one problem I faced is that I've got this connector for the 915, but I've got this connector as well for the G502, uh, the mouse, um, which I'm using uh, here. Uh, the issue is that uh, I end up having to have two of these cables and put them here instead of one. And I wonder if there would have been a way for Logitech to make a hub where I could just uh, neatly have these two 
in one instead of having to run uh, having to run multiple connectors all the time uh, as well. As always, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody, and please like and subscribe. Take care.